Trader Abe, Sports Cards and Collectibles. What's up, y'all? Trader Abe and AC with a new product preview, a first look for us at 2022 WWE. That's exactly right. Wrestling Cards Prism from Panini. A blaster box here. This is the first year, the debut edition of Panini Prism WWE. And uh, Trader Abe, I'm pretty excited to see what's in there, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna rip into these things. Just a little history. Topps has had the WWE license for several, several years and has been the, the uh, exclusive card maker for the WWE, but Panini got the license and uh, this is the first year that they're out. If you're out looking on shelves at Walmart or Target right now, you'll probably see some Topps Finest or maybe some Topps Heritage or, or different things. Prism just now hitting the shelves. It's been out. The hobby boxes a few weeks ago were going for thirteen hundred dollars. Um, so just like with everything, Prism is the king. These are um, brand new. Just hit the the shelves at Walmart this week, and I was able to, to snag a couple. There are six packs per box, four cards per pack for a total of twenty-four. Twenty-four cards. Looking for blaster exclusive green pulsar prisms, iconic silver prisms, retail exclusive autograph parallels. Here are some of the uh, inserts and randomly in random inserts you'll find. Um, so pretty cool. We'll see what's in here. Well, uh, Roman Reigns and, and the man Becky Lynch on the box. We'll see. You know we don't know what we'll get. I'd love to. Get a macho man. I don't even know if he's in it. I know Hulk Hogan's in it. Uh, obviously, The Undertaker's in there. John Cena, Roman Reigns, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair. I think Ric Flair's in here. So, there's a lot of guys you can get. A lot of gals you can get. So, let's see what we can do. Before we do this, though, and we give you the Honest Abe's buy or buy-by opinion, uh, we want to make sure that you're checking out the channel and joining the Trader Abe Nation. That's right. All you got to do Hit the subscribe button right down below. Turn it from red to gray. You'll be part of the family. After they do that, Trader Abe, what do they need to do? Smash the notification bell. Just tell me your screen because you can break your screen and watch the videos. That's exactly right. And if you don't want to smash it, you could always drop an elbow on it. Right, Macho Man? Ooh, yeah, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Dirty King Lawler in the house with this opening force right now. And what we want you to do is leave us a thumbs up, like the video, and drop us a comment down below. Let us know if you think this is a buy or a buy-buy, and what you think of the packs. So, with a little help from the King and the Macho Man, let's get our first look at 2022 WWE Prism. I mean, obviously with Prism, one thing we know, they're going to look good. Another thing we're going to know, probably going to be a lot of misprints. So that's the new prism design for 2022. Mark Andrews, I have no idea who that guy is. Looks like a jobber to me. Goldberg, Goldberg one of my least favorite professional wrestlers. Goldberg. The nice thing here is he's clotheslining the old NWO. That's a picture from way, way, way back in the 90s. And there is the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, getting ready to put an F5 on Roman Reigns. And our first insert is a Fearless of Charlotte Flair. That's a cool looking card. I will say that. Fearless insert, pretty cool. Charlotte Flair, daughter of the Nature Boy. Do you know that we actually go to church with her Little League softball coach? Yeah. We certainly do. All the back card. Very disappointed. My least favorite wrestler in the world. Hey, hey! We got Uncle Jerry. Kingfish. How about that? You know, there's only one place to put him. Okay. Right back here in front of his Funko. That's a PC hit for sure. Oh, a little Bruno San Martino. That's a guy you don't really know anything about. A legendary wrestler. Biggie. 
Biggie Langston? He's not is uh Robert. No, he's not. I thought he was a silver there. He's not in the Apparently it does show like on the back. It shows, you know, the WWE, the, the legends. You can get the uh if they're a SmackDown star or like Mark Andrews here is an NXT UK. So what do you like better, the vertical or the uh, or the horizontal? Big E and a prismatic entrances. Gilbert. Vertical. Vertical. I'm more of a vertical guy myself. Still haven't hit any like. Well, I mean, I guess Big E's a pretty big star. It'd be nice to get yeah, some prism. Jerry Lawler is a legend. He's putting a big drop kick there. Looks like on the Miz, maybe. I love Jerry Lawler. He is one of my favorites. Joseph Connor. That must be a. That's a rookie card. Yeah. Oh, there's the big one. That's that's the best card in the set. He's a UK. Gable Stevenson. Stevenson. This guy is the top rookie in the set. U.S. Olympic gold medalist. Was oh, introduced that's from... from Minnesota. Yeah, that's a good one. That's that I know is worth a top loader. What is? Huh? Minnesota. Gable Steves, and that's a good one. Our first silver looks like is behind Lacey Evans. Let's see who our silver is. Drew McIntyre. Eh, that's not a bad silver to get. Yeah, 20, 20, 20. Throwing ricochet around there. Gable yeah. Steves, and that's a good one, man. That is a really good birthday card. That is the Wander Franco of wrestling card. Pack number four. The great Kali. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sonia Deville. James Drake. Never heard of you. And next level. God, I can't stand Goldberg. He is by far my least favorite WWE. Wrestler. I go, Gilbert's got more talent than Goldberg. Goldberg is such a jabroni. We need a stone cold or a rock. He's got a green in this pack. Well, there is little Miss Alexa Bliss. What a sweet little thing she is. Look how mean she looks. Getting ready to put Nikki A.S.H. Damn. There's another rookie of Malik Blade. That's a UK, yeah, it has to be. Roddy Strong. And our green is Boa. Boa. I have no idea, but he's card, his card is Boa right up. NXT 2.0. All right, last pick madness, uh-huh. We need to get some much from NXT, the initial NXT, when they first put it on the network, was really good. This new NXT 2.0 is not so great. Only thing you got going forward is that Dolph Ziggler is their champion. Champion. Money, 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 money! Primate. Oh, the weird looking guy. His rookie card. Mandy Rose. Does not look at all like Mandy Rose. And a Kofi Gold. So, big hit of the box. Clearly, Gable Stevenson. And obviously, the PC hit for us is Jerry Lawler. All right, now, everybody, it is time for Honest Abe's Bye or Bye Bye. That does not look like Mandy Rose. She's a lady wrestler that, that our boy Doomsday is a fan of. Does not look like her at all, so maybe not. All right, honest Abe. You go first. I'm going to say it's a buy because it's Prism. You can get your hands on it. Gable Stevenson is a great card to have. You may find some legends you like. And if you want to go, Berg, please let me know. I'll be happy to send you one of the 4,000 we got in that box. I'm a buy. I like it. Good looking product. Um, I can't really decide. Probably, uh, 
a buy. All right, you got two buys here. So let us know what you think. Drop us a comment down below. Is it a buy or a bye bye? Which cards you like better? Is there, you like vertical or horizontal better? Insert that you particularly like? I do like the next levels. I just can't stand Goldberg. He's a jabroni. Let us know. Hey, make sure that you check out the channel. You can push that button right there and you can check out all our videos. You can watch our last video right over here. But for this rip, we are done. Make sure you come check us out next time. I am AC. I'm Trader A. We will catch you on the flip side. Bye.